Hey everyone, Mark Cascanet here, Executive Sous Chef for the MetroCon Convention Center, giving you a behind the scenes look at some of the operations that we use in the uh, kitchen to make our large functions go smoothly. Uh, what I'm going to show you right now is a plating belt. It's pretty unique to large scale operations, something you wouldn't see in an everyday kitchen. Um, plating belt is utilized to make uh, plates go in a quick fashion uh, so that we can do the large volumes that we do. Usually the first part of the plating belt, uh, there'll be someone that, uh, one of the cooks will be here passing the plate on, and there'll be other cooks dispersed throughout the plating belt, each adding a unique aspect of the, uh, the dish. Um, there'll be a, a show plate that's set at the start that kind of gives everybody a guideline and the sous chef will go through, letting the, um, each cook know what part of the plate they're doing and where to put it. So um, one cook will put the starch on at the very uh, beginning, usually in the middle, and maybe a piece of broccolini would go here, another cook would put a carrot on here, maybe there's a beet wedge that goes here, and it usually finishes with the protein at the end. Uh, again, all of this was kind of predetermined. There'll be a, a showing with the client to uh, get an understanding of what exactly they want, and then we replicate on the day of. Uh, as the plate moves down, it gets to the very end. There'll be a cook that puts the plate cover on, and it goes into the hot box. We have, I mean, there's time that we'll do function for four or five, six thousand people. We have a lot of these belts and a lot of these hot boxes to make sure that we can do the, the volume that we do. On a more, I guess, more simple plate, we can do 600 plates in an hour. Um, so you can do the math and depending on what time the function is, we try to keep it as fresh as possible. So we'll add a belt and add cooks as needed. 